In this video clip, I'm going to talk about the soul genetics. Now, recently I just moved into uh, thinking about the genes of the, of the soul. Let me explain this to you. Just as you inherit genes from your parents, your great 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 uh, uh, grandfather, grandmother, great great grandparents, you also inherit the soul. Your soul is not different from the souls of your ancestors. Just as there is a lineage on the level of the genes, biological genes, there is inheritance of the soul. This I called soul genetics. If you will, you can use this metaphor of the DNA in, with regard to the soul as well and talk in terms of the DNA of the soul. This is really not a new science and I just have developed this out of um, some practices in India uh, to propitiate the ancestors. Your well-being is dependent on your ancestors who are now dead but they live in soul forms. So you are required constantly to propitiate them. And then they are supposed to bless you with uh, good things in life. And I just started looking at the literature in India, with voluminous literature on, uh, on the propitiation of the souls, of the ancestors and their connections with uh, their offsprings who are living on the earth plane. It became so fascinating. The ancestors, although they give up their bodies and they are dead now, they are still living there in another dimension, in a soul form. And your soul is uh, connected to their souls because it's the same um, soul by uh, standards of soul genetics. In other words, uh, the thoughts that you are thinking may not be even your thoughts. It may be the thoughts of your, uh, your uh, parents or who are now no more or uh, your uh, grandparents or great-great-grandparents. So this goes on. So in order for you to be completely free from their influence, uh, you have to oh, somehow uh, let these souls uh, give up their interest in you oh, so that you can have your own thoughts uh, and then use the contemporary uh, wisdom um, uh, in available in the 21st century and not uh, conditioned by the souls of your uh, ancestors. And this is soul genetics. On a practical level, I have found this immensely helpful to heal uh, your diseases which uh, have come to you from um, your ancestors or your financial situation or your relationship situ situations. All these things you find uh, being instantly getting better once you uh, do uh, a ritual called tarpanam.
Tarpana means uh, offering food to these souls. These souls come, out, come and hang out with you. And then they need food and water. This might seem very naive, but then we have to evaluate it uh, only by results produced by this practice. I have not known any particular ritual or meditation to be so powerful as this offering. So I just want to develop this soul genetics further of how the thought patterns uh, are inherited on the level of the soul from uh, a pool of uh, Yen sisters. And this is uh, uh, briefly soul genetics.